From the United Nations, we really believe that in order for development to be sustainable and truly inclusive, young people need to be involved in all aspects of development, not just to say be beneficiaries of programs, but from the initial planning, implementation, and evaluation in every aspect of the program. At this forum, UNESCO is bringing together young people from around the world to get recommendations on the operational strategy. Now, this is important not just for UNESCO, but it's important for the entire UN system. In the system-wide action plan, education, civic participation, political inclusion, they're all really important issues. So we have an interest in finding out what is it that young people from around the world want to say on those issues. And the recommendations that young people have will influence how, not only how UNESCO implements its strategies, but how the entire UN system does. So we're here to show our support, but we're also here to show that we're listening. Well, we look forward to seeing the recommendations later today when they're announced. In each of the axes, there's a real synergy with the larger work of the United Nations within the system-wide action plan. In addition, we have found that by looking at the way that UNESCO has organized the Youth Forum, we think that the UN in general can also benefit from learning how to organize youth meetings within the UN system. The participatory nature is definitely a big strength. The idea that young people are able to contribute on something meaningful, where it's not just that they're giving empty recommendations that nobody listens to, but they're giving concrete suggestions on an operational plan that is in motion. The fact that there's a general conference happening here this next week, and that people will be listening to what they're saying, that I think makes their participation very meaningful. And that is a big strength of this forum. I think that UNESCO has had a very inclusive process by having several uh, online opportunities for young people to participate. They had an online survey getting um, getting an evaluation of the previous youth forum and then also the opportunity for young people who couldn't come here to provide recommendations online. So that's given a larger number of young people the opportunity to participate in this youth forum. And you walk around in the halls, it's uh, the energy, the dynamism is perceptible. Uh, there's a lot of uh, dedicated, ambitious, motivated young people who are uh, who know that they have an opportunity to influence something meaningful, so the atmosphere is electric. I think the UNESCO Youth Forum this year has been incredible. I've had the opportunity to attend three youth forums over the past several years, and every time I come here I'm amazed with the way that UNESCO has organized them and really let young people lead the process. So it's been a great opportunity to be here. I think there are two things that we will bring back uh, from this forum. One would be the recommendations, and, and they will feed into the implementation of the system-wide action plan on youth, which the interagency network developed and was approved by our chief executive boards. And number two would be to, to develop some guidance on how UN entities can organize youth meetings, youth-led meetings, and we're going to develop some guidance on this, and the UNESCO Youth Forum model will be incorporated into that guidance. For the Interagency Network on Youth, uh, a big priority in the coming year is to implement the system-wide action plan on youth. It's a common strategy that the UN system has to make a real difference in the lives of young people. We are here to listen to what young people have to say about some very important areas in that strategy, and we will take the recommendations back uh, to our agencies, to the countries that we work with, and make sure that the things that young people have said, that we're able to make a difference in their life. I'll say to young people that coming at a forum like this is just uh, one step, that the real work begins when you go back to your homes. The real work begins when you're able to hold your uh, leaders accountable, when you're able to hold the UN accountable. Commitments are made, but they're only as valuable as uh, they're implemented. So uh, go back. Um, See, talk to your leaders, talk to the UN, hold them accountable for everything that they've said.